PJ from TreelineUSA.com. Over the last few years, we've had a lot of requests for a router base for a micromotor handpiece. Well, Treeline just barely came out with their new design called the Grip Guide. It's a sweet little base that allows you to keep a consistent depth with your micromotor handpiece when you're doing relief carving projects or other things where you need to vary the depth and keep that consistent. So let's zoom in and let's see how it works. So this is the grip guide for the micromotors. As you can see, we've got the micromotor in place, which stands perpendicular to the wood, and so it allows it to keep a nice, consistent depth. Where this was designed to have a shim in there, so without the shim, it would fit any 13 16 diameter handpiece like the OZ Plus, plus or minus about an eighth of an inch, and that'll fit right in there without the shim. Or you can slide that shim in there, which would fit most of the other ram handpieces, strong handpiece, some of the others that are about 5 eighths of an inch diameter, plus or minus an eighth of an inch. But you simply slide that down in place, set the depth, and now we can plunge it right down into the wood. So the slower your tool goes, the more grabby it's going to be, while the faster you go, the smoother it's going to cut. Right here I'm using what's called an end mill bit. These bits are designed to cut straight in and then very well on the side as you're dragging through. So we're just using a piece of aspen here. Let me show you how it cuts. So we're going to take and turn on our tool, plunge it straight down into the wood, and then I can take that and I can route out an area very, very quickly. But notice if I'm a little bit shaky in my hands or I'm trying to follow a line, I can use two hands on it. And I've got enough field of vision here so I can see exactly what I'm taking off. So as I'm coming in here, sliding it back and forth to clear, clear away the open area, or as I'm dragging it around, again, I've got two hands controlling my cut. So usually you want to cut down, say you want to go much deeper than this, then what you could do is you could take it, cut down about a sixteenth of an inch, readjust this, plunge it down even deeper and continue to work as deep as you might need to go. So, but it's very easy to use. Again, just have your design in place if you needed it there. Drop it down in, outline your project. And notice I've got great control. The bit is not jumping or wandering out of my hands at all. Super easy to use. Now this piece of wood is flat right here. And if you needed to, like on a gun stock or something that has a slight curvature to it, you can easily do the same thing. Just set the depth for however deep you need to go and, uh, and start hogging away material. So anyway, that's how you use it. We are really excited here at Treeline to introduce and to now offer the uh, new grip guide for the micromotor hand pieces. Like I mentioned before, people have been interested in a tool like this for years and it's now available. You can use this tool for doing all sorts of carving, including relief carving work, inlay work, milling, and anything where you need to set a consistent depth while you're working with your micromotor hand pieces. So to learn more or to pick up your grip guide, visit us at TreelineUSA.com. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.